So how do you see this going? You you have to figure out what you want to do, and then your first call is to the Packers, and then you let them know what you're thinking, and then they said that we'll let you know what we're thinking, and then that's kind of how the whole process will unfold, you think? I think so. I mean, it sounds like there's already conversations going on that aren't involving me, which are interesting. Um, you know, honestly, I've been insulated to a lot of that. Like I said, I was in, in Nashville and and then I'll be up here, uh, you know, this week playing in the tournament. So uh, I'm not a part of those conversations right now. When I make up my mind one way or another, then uh, you guys and Packers, not in that order, but and everybody else will, uh, will know at some point. Nathaniel Hackett getting a gig somewhere or somebody that you know getting a gig somewhere, does that sway you in any thoughts if the Packers were to say we'd like to move on and you'd like to play football? Obviously, this is a lot of what ifs, but have you put yourself into that mind frame and can you even answer that question at this point? No, I can't. I mean, it, it, it's, there's not a great answer I can give you. Um, we all have certain coaches that have meant a lot to us over the years and and have created those really special rooms to play in, special feelings on game day, made the weeks better. Obviously, Nathaniel's one of those guys. I would say there's been a handful of coaches over the years who've been just on another different level, you know, guys who you just kind of bonded with more than other guys. And it's not a shot at any, any other coach you've played with. It's just humans, just like with teammates. Some, some guys you really you love, uh, and, and some guys you love and you spend more time with them off the field. Um, that's why having Tom back there this year was so special because Tom has always had a special place in my heart because he was the guy that really raised me up as a young player and, and spent hours and hours and hours with me on fundamentals and reads and fronts and pressures and coverages and, and becoming an expert at the offense. You know, so I always loved Tom, and I love spending time with Tom um, over the years. Luke Getze is always going to be a close, a close one for me because he's just such a special guy. You know, he was basically my same age. And I watched him, you know, rise the ranks the right way of coaching and, and put in his time and be in the room with us. And we had a blast. Alex Van Pelt, you know, one of my all-time favorites as well, just taught me how to, uh, you know, how to be a CEO uh, of the squad, how to, how to lead uh, in that way and how to play fake with the best of them. Uh, love AVP, love spending time on the mouth of the field. Hack, same way. Love Hack. I mean, Hack is, Hack's my guy. I love him and, and Megan and the kids are really special to me. Like we really bonded when uh, when he was in Green Bay. Uh, he made it fun. He made the room fun. Made the weeks fun. Um, so that you know, those guys are always going to be really special. And that's just that's just a, a handful of people that have meant to me. But those guys have been in been in my room uh, consistently, and and guys you just you love being around. I mean, listen, we. I'm not sure what what the future holds for me, but. Those are friendships, the ones I mentioned, that are going to last longer than football, and I'm, I'm really thankful for that part of the sport and, and what, that, what the sport gives you in that, in that regard.